Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's pull your first card. I'm going to choose the first card because these cards are a little bit chunky. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Pisces please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Thank you for the week message for Pisces thank you message for Pisces okay so we have the ten of wands uh, the reading there is we uh, it says working too hard or too many hours the need for balance in life let others help you health problems due to stress the ten of wands is generally an energy of burden feeling burdens can be built up over a period of time as well pisces so it might resonate for some of you in that way but it's a 10 which means that the completion is there uh, something is about to end okay what do we have for Pisces please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Pisces thank you so I have number seven community the community card can be it can be some kind of working hard I mean it can be community at work it can be your local community it can be family you know um, your friendships, your tribe, you know, that kind of energy. So for some of you, there is some kind of burden here. It can be caused by your community or people supporting you. Um, some kind of support as well. So let's see what else we get. Now it's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, which I did just look at, we have the door to personal healing and happiness. So I'm definitely getting, like I said, releasing of these burdens. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Pisces. Thank you. 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Thank you. Ask your angels. Can also be your spiritual community as well. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to pull one more card, Pisces. Let's pull one more. Any other message, please, angels, for Pisces? Okay, I've got two, three cards, okay. Okay, they're trying to... Uh, there'll be a need to compromise here. I've got remain positive. There's no need to worry. So I like the way that those messages follow on from each other. You're being told that... There will be some compromise that's needed and it's to do with these burdens but don't worry about it it's all going to work out so i definitely get this kind of energy of the new door is opening the door to personal healing and happiness again okay pisces so i'm going to pull three cards and then we will clarify the cards and go deeper into the message as you know by now we always do and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what re what resonates with you as always okay so what do we have for pisces please angels spirits guides message for our lovely pisces first to the 7th of march 2021 message for pisces please one card has turned up let me just grab it there we go judgment There you are, Pisces. You are the Knight of Cups for me as a reader. And we have the Empress. Okay, message for Pisces, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces? Thank you. First to the 7th of March, 2021. 
Message for Pisces, thank you. Okay, so I have the Nine of Cups there, Pisces, which is actually Pisces energy. The Knight of Coins clarifies the Knight of Cups and the Empress is clarified by the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, homo. Oh, <laughs> That's beautiful, we have the world. I love that energy. And I like the fact that I've got the Nine and the Ten of Wands because like I said to you Pisces, something is, is near completion here. Something is nearly finally over. And it feels the period of hardship, burden, can be a card of hard work, um, something that you might have been working towards over a period of time, the burden, the responsibility, the pressure, the weight of the world on your shoulders. There's no need to worry. There may be some compromise that's needed here, Pisces, but there's every reason to remain positive. Something to do with your community here, could be new communities or support from your community. Um, or you felt, it could be in your family, you know, in your relationship, some kind of burden that you've been dealing with. The new door is going to open, you know. It could be something that's affected your relationship. So it's a lovely energy. So don't doubt it. Because I definitely get the energy of some of you are doubting that it's going to happen. And that's what you feel with the Ten of Wands. You feel this has been going on forever. Uh, I don't see the end in sight. And yet you're at the end game. You're at the completion level. You're at that point where it feels very imminent that that new door is going to open. So don't doubt it. There will be an absolute reason for you to step into your light. Something may come. It might be out of the blue. It could be unexpectedly. That could be in the form of news, uh, a conversation, an opportunity, call it what you will. But it's, it's going to require you to take action. And it's very much linked with your heart's desire. And the gift from the universe is coming, the karmic gift. So I love the energy here, Pisces. It feels very beautiful. Some kind of karmic gift. Because the universe always rights wrongs. The universe will always balance itself out. There's definitely this energy of some kind of karmic gift coming your way. Uh, reasons to be thankful, optimistic. The Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment, hopes, dreams, wishes. It is your, car, it is your energy Pisces, it's Piscean energy. Um, so there's definitely some kind of karmic gift coming your way. It's, it, it, you're doubting that it's going to happen, but the universe is saying, no, what you've been working towards, the burdens, the tests, the struggles, the difficult journey, that is going to be over. Because for some of you, Pisces, this is you, the Knight of Cups, remember, the Knights bring change, and this is a change that brings happiness and joy. Um... And it manifests in the form of some kind of offer and opportunity coming your way. So the Knight of Coins is very good in terms of money, career, business. Um, can be job offers, can be contracts, new business wins, some incoming money coming your way. You're doubting it's going to happen, but the message is the change. Two, two nights, side by side, the change is coming. The change is coming. Uh, the Knight of Coins is the slowest of all the Knights. And this is you back in your element, by the way. You will be back in your element. The Knight of Cups is Pisces for me as a reader. Uh, you know, the Knight of Cups is a joyful energy. Um, somebody who is who sees the beauty of life, imaginative in their flow. Um, it, it's very, very beautiful energy. It allows... Definitely an energy to allow yourself to be guided by your intuition as well. Because you are being guided towards this, the change, the offer, 
the client, new business win, um, progress in terms of business, money coming in, that kind of energy. But the Knight of Coins can be a long-awaited energy. So the message is, it feels for some of you, the burden is just nearly at that completion level. Something is nearly over. A period of burden is nearly over and the weight's about to be lifted. Closer than you think. That is your outcome because the nine of wands is one less than the ten of wands. So I definitely, and then we have it followed by the completion card, the victory card, the winning card, the world. They're ready to step through to a new phase of your life, but this is a card of goal achievement. So there's definitely this energy of the goal is within your grasp here. And what is within your grasp? Well, when the Empress appears, she's the birth of something new. Uh, very good in terms of money, career, business areas. She is an abundant energy as well. So definitely an energy of keep going with that nine of wands. You're doubting that something's going to end. You're definitely an energy of doubt. And you're being told don't doubt that the new path will be created for you. The new reality is being created by your actions. And it feels like it's in the form of this Knight of Coins, someone be making you an offer, an opportunity, Pisces, that is going to put you back in your element, in your flow. The goal is, is definitely an energy of there's just one more push when the Nine of Wands appears. There could be one more push, one more obstacle, sometimes, but that will be it. So you might experience that this week, but then it's over then it is completely over and there is victory and success, achievement, celebration. You know, that is the world card, is a card of accomplishment. What you've been working towards, this can be a card of accomplishment, goal achievement, uh, celebration. So I definitely get this energy here. And again, this can be a celebratory card. You're doubting that the celebration is coming, that the good things are coming, and it is. So could be one more thing that gets in the way, some kind of fly in the ointment that you have to deal with. But then there is definitely an energy of the door will open. Remember, there will be compromise that's needed here with this Pisces. But the message is don't worry, be open to that compromise. Um, and yeah, some kind of karmic gift is definitely coming your way. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. And it's in reward for your efforts. So final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces. Yeah, we have go outside. It's time to go outside. Tune into the powerful piece of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat. You know, that nature energy is great for reconnecting, getting perspective, being energized. You know, it can be that kind of energy that you're being told to just, you know, recalibrate, recharge and then keep going. Okay, yeah. See, <laughs> I kind of think that go outside and inspiration go side by side. So we have inspiration. Be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration. Come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. And remember the, the one's energy is inspirational energy. So just when you feel at a low point and you think, oh no, not another setback or obstacle or one thing that needs to be done before there's a completion. But I definitely feel in this energy, that is when you need to maybe go outside, get perspective and then be inspired to just keep going because it feels like you're one step away from abundance here and that's leading to and it's in the cards it's in this is goal achievement um success it's a card of worldly success very good in terms of material success celebration joy so beautiful energy pisces i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you